Howdy folks, this is uh, D. Unalis. I'm in the uh, Skyfall Magnum and I am heading from Alioth to Haven. Just gonna run over here and pick up some stuff. This is a ship made by Commander Taco. It has 40 large containers. It has uh, a plethora of Atmo engines and it has five of the XL maneuver space engines. I believe those are maneuvers. Uh, so, uh, good, good ship. Uh, when it's empty, you can basically point it straight up and it will uh, go into space immediately. So, uh, this is one of the fastest ships to get out of atmosphere that I've ever seen. And like I said, I've, uh, I think I've talked about this ship before. I've, call, I've hauled 13 and a half kiloliters before. Uh, heading over to the old Haven, I say the old, the Haven factory, uh, where we all started, right? Uh, to pick up some containers. We still got that uh, factory running over there. It's got some containers kicking out. That's what we're going to sell in the uh, market, the Chimera market. Uh, the Chimera market is doing well. Uh, we're selling some stuff. People are starting to come, you know, trickle in more and more uh, as the word gets out. And uh, so pass the word in your discords and stuff like that. If uh, uh, people want to come over and buy some stuff, have them, uh, you know, have them, have them VR over first. Chimera, C-H-I-M-E-R-A should get you to the Chimera uh location so you'll actually spawn right inside the center of the market uh, when you spawn in the VR and check our prices then check the uh, prices that you know the markets and and even the other people that are selling stuff sometimes some people make too many things they think they're gonna sell good on the market and they don't sell and so sometimes they have a surplus and they end up having to put them on the market at under cost just to get rid of them so occasionally you're going to find stuff that's going to be cheaper than what we produce just because of the way the market fluctuates. So, you know, look around, try to find the best price you can, but certainly feel free to include us in uh, when you're looking at uh, the prices of stuff. And if we can save you some money, uh, we're only five kilometers from market six. So if you're already going there to get a few things and we've got some of what you need, then head on over. We're going to keep adding stuff to the market. And so there's going to be more and more. It'll never be Gotmart, but uh, it's going to be uh, pretty big once we get it all stood up and, and everything going. It just takes uh, time to get all those dispensers out and hooked into our system and everything. We've got a Lua, Lua system that Commander Taco uh, cobbled together from a bunch of other Lua, and he wrote a bunch of new Lua, and uh, so he's done a lot of hard work on all that. Uh, so, not an exciting video going from planet to planet uh, but you know hey that's what you do in this game sometimes uh, this ship is so big that it caps out at uh, 20,000 as fast as I can go let's see if I can raise the speed any uh, it doesn't want to go any higher hardly let's see here all right there we go capped it out again so fast as we can go but haven's not that far away it's only six more asu to be there again if i hit my x button once twice third time then you actually see that my autopilot has me pointed at the planet that's a bad thing right so if i actually i'm gonna turn the autopilot off alt four uh so the red line means i'm gonna intersect the planet oh now i'm good okay so apparently it moved me just enough that I'm good. But what I'm going to do is, oh, see, I'm not good now. I'm going to go ahead and point away from the planet and thrust a little bit just to get that line away from the planet so that I don't get as close as what uh, it's showing that I'm going to be now. I'm not going to do that very long. I'm just going to get to a safe point and then I'll hit Alt-4 again. Keep my autopilot going. And then I will orient myself so that when I get to the planet, I'll be looking down on it and not down from upside down on it. So give me a special orientation that makes sense to my brain. 
so unfortunately, I just remembered last time I flew this with a very heavy load, uh, almost 14 kilotons, that we needed to put more adjusters on it. Uh, tell Taco about it and because uh, it's his ship. Uh, but then I forgot and I didn't do it. So, and I really don't know where he wants to put them, so I don't really want to do it for him. So, uh, I will, I'll get with him later on. We'll get some more adjusters on here. But it does turn a little bit slow. It's just a heavy honking ship to be turning. So we're running at 3.55 kilotons, pretty much empty. I've got some, I've got some tier five scrap. Uh, hopefully we don't need that, but I've got it. This has uh, four container hubs because you can only put 10 containers per hub. Uh, so, boom. We talked, uh, you know, I could put gravity inverted containers in here and it would reduce the weight of the ship fairly significantly. However, you can't work the gravity and the inverted containers on the hub we just recently found out. You can watch a previous video of mine. I talk a little bit about that and I do some, some work on it. And I did some more experimentation yesterday. But there, uh, it's, it's not worth it in a ship like this to put the gravity inverted containers. Frankly, I have so many elements and engines and stuff that I'm still gonna be capped at 20K, so. You know, and if I'm hauling, if I've got 40 containers and I'm not putting cargo in them, that's kind of stupid. So I think I'm, I'm capped at uh, 20,000 kilometers per hour, no matter what happens. So I'm not too worried about it. Uh, I feel like I'm going to let the autopilot stop me when it wants to stop me. I feel like I've adjusted my trajectory so that I'm above the planet high enough that I'll be good. It says that the max brake distance is, whoops, there it just kicked on. current brake distance is 0.6 SU so it kicked on at 0.6 something all right so I'll let this get me to this waypoint and then it should pick the waypoint down on the planet that I'm going to which is where the Haven factory is uh, we are slowing down rapidly a lot of brakes on this thing but frankly it's a lot of ship to break okay so I'm gonna hit Alt-4 and stop my autopilot. And then when the, uh, I'm just gonna let this thing stop. I'm gonna make sure I have my ground target selected here, the Haven Factory. I am at a full stop. I'm just kind of reorienting myself here, trying to anyway. Come on. This thing is a, a beast to turn. But all that will take is just a few more uh, adjusters and it'll be fine. Uh, it is a relatively new build and I am the only one that has crashed, I mean tested it uh, very much. Uh, so uh, I'm the only one that's put very much time into this ship. And Taco really made it for me to do stuff like what I'm doing now. So, my 20 container ship, but when I come over here and load it full of stuff, uh, I can't take off. It's too heavy. This is a 1G planet. So, I end up bringing this 40 container ship over and I uh, can put everything I want into it and still be able to take off. So, it works out very well. Uh, we've got some voxel factories, factories over here. We manufacture some voxels. Kaveen works his butt off to keep this thing uh, up and running. I'm going to get my speed down here uh, to under 1,050. I'm sitting there talking and not paying attention. Uh, and we'll go ahead and work our way into atmosphere here. Got it just over a minute, under a minute now. There we go. All right, so we want to be able to point at that target. It's still in my... Uh, as a temporary location over on the bottom right in my screen. So I'll be able to, uh, well, gotta make sure I stay under 1,050, 1,100 or so when I'm going in the atmosphere. So I gotta tap the brake every once in a while here. 30 seconds from entry. 
Just trying to keep it above 800, but under 1100. So anytime I start getting high, I tap that break a minute. As soon as I get in the atmosphere, I'm gonna hit my brakes and come to a stop in the air. This thing has enough wings, that's not gonna be a problem. So I'm gonna kind of orient myself like I'm flying. Four, three, and I'm tapping my brakes as I need it. And I'm in the atmosphere. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit my brakes. And then I'm gonna go ahead and spin up my engines. I'm at, I'm at a stop. And now I'm moving forward. So let's go ahead and uh, hit Alt-4. Let the autopilot take me above the target. Let's see what we got in the. Oh, come on. All right, let's let's see if it let it keep this altitude. See if it'll do it. There we go. I turned the engines off, so that's why it wasn't flying. I'm just changing my altitude to the current altitude. Finalizing approach. All right, let's just hit G. Stop ourselves. Are we gonna stop? We are gonna stop. All right, close enough. We have our AGG on, so we should stop at uh, one kilometer up, thousand meters. You can see that our AGG is on. That's Alt G and the uh, Arch HUD. Uh, on the bottom right over there, the second uh, panel up from the bottom. Uh, you can see that the anti-gravity generator is on and it's set for a base altitude of 1000. And in the top center of the screen, you can see our target altitude is 1000. And our singularity altitude is 1000. Alright, so I'm 1.1 kilometers from this. And if I hit P... I have a 2.25 linked container range, so I am plenty good. Now, before I get out and jump down there and leave my ship up here, parked in orbit, I have to make sure that I'm connected to the uh, respawn node, which I'm not, okay, for the Skyfall Magnum. Now I'm connected. So let's go ahead and jump out of the ship, diving board. There we go. There's my old base. The Unovis's base. I think that's it. Oh, maybe not. I'm disoriented. Uh, it's right there. Yeah, that's my base. My old base, I think. Wait, no. I'm dis I am disoriented. It is on the other side of it, way over there. All right, so we got a few things going on over here. Kaveen's got a lot of stuff going. This is from when we beta, when they first released the game, they had us screwed up the, the stuff and uh, people that had perks, their lander was too heavy and they crashed. <laughs> uh, so they set it for a standard person, but they didn't plan on the weight of the perks actually weighing it down enough that it would impact uh, issues. So, uh, yeah, at least that's what we think happened. So uh, these are a couple of Kaveen ships that are over here. Uh, some of his little trucks. Uh, this is the Haven factory. This is another Kaveen ship. And this is a couple of containers that we have for dropping items off. A couple of uh, folks build uh, stuff for us and we buy them from other uh, Chimera members. If a Chimera member has something that we need, we'd rather buy it from them. Uh, and I know Spain is the one that sells us like some of the advanced miners and stuff like that. Because we, we didn't bother standing up the line and he's building them. So he's been making money off of us, but he's been selling them to us for like half of market price too. So even though he's still making money, 
we're getting a cut on it and so he's helping the org so that's awesome appreciate him uh, and this is the space elevator I had made a video about this very early on uh, after uh, the game launched uh, so I think this is a, a warp shuttle warp freighter that Kavine made uh, this is the shuttle I was standing on top of when I was underneath the ground of Mattis the uh, glitch video uh, so that's that's just what that looks like and uh, so yeah not much to see uh, it's the it's the factory and you can see back here that we've still got some stuff running back here uh, so you know there's definitely some stuff going we are making uh, the heck out of basic hydraulics to support containers and then if you look back here in the corner we have some container lines going for expanded XL containers and for large containers right so we're cranking containers and that's why I'm over here I'm over here to pick those up so let's see what we've got in our container bin uh, I was over here not too long ago so I picked up like a <laughs> hundred containers total and the ship was way too heavy so I decided I'd come over a little earlier this time and and pick up those so these are gonna go into the chimera market for sale at, at some point so we have probably a hundred over a hundred of each large and XXL containers over there we have the container hubs uh, I don't know if the containers are actually in the market yet but they're gonna go in sometime soon uh, so let me look at uh, ore here. Where is our tier one ore? Alright, so I'm not going to take any ore because it takes a lot of, of hematite to make containers. And he's got a lot there. I don't want to touch it. I've already grabbed some of this other ore, his excess. So there's, there's enough left in there to do the job until he gets back over and refills this from all the miners on all of these territories around us. Uh, so what we did, everybody that landed on Haven, like there's uh, uh, there's my territory, right? Uh, for Ammo Guy, and there's the one for DU Novice. Uh, there's one for another Ammo character, and another one. So, you know, there's there's one of Taco's uh, alts, uh, and this is Commander Taco's tile. So, all of these tiles, what we did is we made Lua's and shared permissions so that any of us could run miners on them or pick up ore on the surface or whatever. And so, all of these tiles that are belonged by the core group that is feeding ore to Chimera, we can pull ore off of these. And Kavine has all that set up and is running it. He's 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 the brain behind this factory and all the miners that are set out here. So he, uh, it's not just these four on this tile. There's a, there's a whole bunch of locations around here where there, there are mining units. And you can see on the map uh, where those are. There's some out this way. I uh, can't see them from here. But uh, pretty good setup. It gives us a lot of ore. And these are free territories. So other than charging the miners themselves... Uh, this is kind of like free ore, right? Because you don't have to pay a territory fee every month, every week of five hundred thousand. Uh, so it's uh, it's pretty cool uh, being able to uh, get the ore over here and use it. And uh, so a, a lot of the a lot of the containers are coming out of here. Like I said, right now. Uh, originally this is what built all the parts and components to build the Chimera base, right? Everything that we have over there started from here. Uh, so it's, uh, it's a pretty neat little setup. Uh, so I'm not going to have a very large load. I could have brought over my other ship probably. Let's look and see if there's any voxel. I, I think uh, Kavine's been busy with work so I doubt we have any honeycomb that I need to pull back if I sort this from quantity high to low uh, there's some polished gray aluminum polished black aluminum uh, I could probably pull that over there no no this is for the space station I think or I, I, some of this stuff is 
so let me let me hold off on that. Or maybe the white stuff was for the space station. I can't remember. I'm not going to pull any more stuff over. I thought I had a lot more to get over here. Uh, but anyway, I guess that was kind of a wasted trip for me. Uh, but there are there are were some containers done, so you know, I uh, got those and we'll be good to go. Uh, let's go look and see if there's any containers kicking out in the next few minutes here. Just out of curiosity. Uh, that was going to be a little while. And let's see what we got over here. Uh, this is the territory unit. Territory unit. Territory unit. I grabbed some territory units last time I was over here, so that's probably why those are making. And this is uh, an expanded Excel container, and I'm sure this one is too. And they're not due out any time soon, so we will just uh, have to go back very lightly loaded. But what I probably will do is go by Alley Off Moon 1. Uh, well, I probably won't. There's not enough pie right there to bother picking up now, actually. Uh, so, uh, kind of a wasted trip over, but uh, I should have VR'd over here and checked it out. I, For some stupid reason, I thought there was more than that. Uh, there's some miscellaneous parts. There's the territory units that are being replaced. I took some of those last time. I wanted to make sure we had enough for our to pin a couple of blooms if we actually get a new planet come out we'd have them available to to pin some new stuff uh that's the reason kavine has these over here though so he can take them and uh the last planet that came out talame it was like if you didn't get there right away you didn't get to scan it and i was working and Kavine managed to get over there and get us a super bloom of Garnerite, so uh, good on him and for having all the stuff available to take with him. So he's a planner and does a very good job of that. So uh, let's head back. Uh, gonna go ahead and I can't think of anything that. Oh, Alioth transfer. Oh, okay. Now I get it. He made an Alioth transfer been duh uh so <laughs> uh idiot me i thought there would be more containers so he wants me to take all this stuff over there he must have been watching my videos uh why is there oh, 100 and 0.1 kiloliters of fuel okay so he's making even fuel over here that we can take back that's pretty awesome uh, so I will pay attention, Kaveen, to the Alioth transfer container. Uh, let's see. I don't think he has much in the way of tier two or, uh, most of this stuff is over here for a reason. So I'm not taking any of his industry stuff. I'm just curious what all we got. So, Okay. Uh, don't need any more honeycomb right now. Uh, if he wants me to take any honeycomb, I know from now on that he will put it into the transfer container. And we'll be good to go. So let's head up to the ship. Force respawn. I did turn my sound off so that it wouldn't be quite so annoying. And we're back, right? So if we hadn't set that respawn mode, we would have had to fly our pocket rocket up here and land on top of the ship and dock, which is Alt-T, and it would have been a pain. So glad we remembered. Uh, all right. Let's look and see what our ship's weighing in at. It's not going to be that much. Seven and a half kilotons. Okay. Uh, not an insignificant amount, but uh, not horrible either. So we're going to go to Chimera Headquarters. Actually, uh, I know exactly where we're going to go. We're going to go to the AGG Tower. I saved that coordinate here. So let's hit Alt. 
one. Oh, no. Enter. Slash. Let's put the AGG tower in as a temp location. Now we'll hit Alt 4. Okay. And we're loaded with 7.5 kilotons. That's not an insignificant amount to take off in 0 0.7, 0 0.9, or uh, 1 gravity. That's what we're at. Uh, so we're taking off now, 1 gravity. And uh, we're going pretty much, uh, not straight up, but towards the planet, exactly. And the ship is just powering through it all. Uh, so even with that huge amount of weight in the ship, we are doing very well. So I had a little bit of a bump and some uh, damaged elements with uh, 13 kilotons. Uh, 13 and a half. So 7 and a half is almost half of that. So uh, a little over half. But uh, we should be perfectly good to get down into the Alioth atmosphere. Uh, if we have to break land, that should be very within the capabilities of the ship. But I don't even know if we'll have to break land. This thing has, as you can see, a lot of wings on it in the center and both sides in the back there and up on top on the sides. So there's a lot of wings. I think we'll be fine. Uh, we'll have to, to look at it and see. So the ship is now... What are we doing? Oh, it's adjusting its trajectory, trying to get up speed. I guess we couldn't quite break out of atmosphere, so it's just getting our speed up and going up slow. I don't know. I'm turning off the, the autopilot. Let's go ahead and stop that. And let's just go up. At least, at least a little bit, right? Oh. We're falling. What the heck? Okay, so we were too heavy to go straight up like the autopilot was going. We should have come up, come out at a shallower angle. So we'll start climbing in a minute here. We'll be fine. So what we'll do is we'll take off at a shallower angle like this where we're still increasing in altitude, but we're not like pointing dramatically away from the planet. And we'll be able to get out of atmosphere easily enough. I got out with 13. I know I can get out with this. Okay. We're at 1% atmosphere. Still climbing. 0%. Now our speed's going up. Now I should be able to hit Alt 4. And it should put me on the right trajectory. Let's look at uh, XXX. Uh, there we go. Right now I'm falling back into the planet still. Uh, but as soon as I get up enough speed, it's going to show that I'm headed towards Alioth. It's just trying to change my trajectory to get me to the planet. See, it's pointing above it to, to try to change where I'm aimed. And I'm still going up. I'm still climbing. I'm at 18, 19 kilometers, 20 kilometers. I'm going pretty fast. It looks like I'm falling, but I'm not. I'm moving away from the planet, right? Uh, so I'm actually bringing the nose of the ship down as the, the trajectory comes up and points towards the planet. So it's, it's just trying to get me on track. I'm going to orient myself with relation to the planet. Uh, let's go ahead and see it's it's moving that line closer and closer to the planet. Now it's pointing towards the planet to try to drive that line closer. And now it's moving. I'm not doing any of that moving. All I'm doing is orienting myself to the planet. I'll stop doing that so you can't see that so it doesn't confuse you. But, uh, yeah, just uh, letting the autopilot do this, and you can see the line remains purple, meaning I'm not going to intersect the uh, atmosphere and fall into the planet and crash. Autopilot, uh, Archhead Autopilot, will crash you sometimes, especially on Alioth, especially on Haven. They're both uh, 1G planets, so be careful. Uh, or actually, Haven's a moon, but still. Uh, 
it acts like a planet. So we are certainly. Uh, I was just playing around with the ship, not a pilot. Said, "No, I want to point down here. Stop it." So I'm gonna let it go and let it go. Uh, I'll cut some of the trip out of the middle here, but uh, <clears throat> then I'll show you the landing on the planet, and uh, we'll be good to go. All right, we are now approaching Alioth, uh, Haven's way back there. Uh, cut out that middle part so you guys didn't have to see that long trip. Not long. It's only about 15 km, uh, SU, but still. Uh, so I'm letting the, I'm purposely letting the autopilot do this. Uh, but I want to show you that uh, we're a little lower from the waypoint than it expected us to be. So I could have fallen into the atmosphere had things gone wrong. Uh, so that's the risk you run. So let's uh, keep going here. It should pop the waypoint down onto the planet in a minute. When I get past it. Still moving, still moving. Okay, there it is. Alright, so I'm going to hit Alt 4. Alt 4. And hit my brake. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, I'm gonna land myself. I'm not going to let the autopilot do it for me. Just going to go like straight down here. Right now I would land in uh, Angry Dad's, I think that's Angry Dad's lake. Not sure. He's close to us. I'm going to keep my speed below 1100. So I'm going to go ahead and just let the gravity do its work here and I'll tap the brake as I need to. I have to, I get talking sometimes I forget to do that. Uh, so I'm tapping the brake now. Just keeping my speed down low enough. When I get into the atmosphere I'm going to hit the brakes. So I'm going to go ahead and Get myself level. Not that it really matters, but it just seems more like I'm oriented properly if I do that. Uh, slow down. Come on. All right. So we are in the atmosphere. I'm hitting my brakes. Let's see if we can slow down all the way. Let's run our engines up. Uh, we're at yeah, we're pretty much floating in the air right now. Let my engines run, let my engines run, let them run, turn the brake off. Uh, we're moving forward. So we do not have to brake land. We are going down. I'll hit Alt 4. Ah, uh, screw it. Let's just hit G. We'll just land here. I uh, missed my waypoint. Oh well. Too much of a load to stop quickly. Guess I'm landing at this guy's base. Probably doesn't expect that, does he? Hey, look, it's a battleship. Ah, my EGGs caught me. I'm settling into AGG height, which is one kilometer. So I'm going to raise that up. I'm going to hit Alt Space, raise my AGG height up just a little bit so that I get above the tower, because the tower is at 1,020. I'm trying to turn here, and the ship is so loaded that it's having a hard time. It's fighting me. There we go. Come on. Get level. Now turn. And let's see. Come on. Come on. Get level. Get level. There we go. 
Turn, turn, turn. It's a slow process. Slow process for a big ship. Now we're turning, now we're turning. And I'm going to stop and let it All right, come on a little bit more. A little bit more. All right. So let's see if we can get it to take me to where I want to go. Let's not go full speed though. Okay, so we're high enough that we're at 1300 uh, kilometers. We're high enough, we should be good. Okay. Unfortunately, though, I picked the waypoint of my other ship. So I'm going to have to move us to the side just a little before we land. Uh, so let's go ahead and lower the AGG. Alt-C. Lower it to about 1100. That'll bring us down from 1300. And then uh, once I get over here, I've got to get turned. It's hard to turn the ship when it's loaded. Hard to turn it. All right, let's get the nose pointed down a little. There we go. Okay, so we don't want to go very far forward, but we want to go forward just a little. Let's see here. All right, almost oriented right. Let's put the nose down a little. Okay, so we're just above that ship. Pretty much. So we're going to just leave the brake on and let the engines push us forward. Alright. So we're going to go ahead now and lower the AGG altitude to a thousand. And that should put us on the roof. Actually, I'll just hit Alt G, turn it off. And just let the brake land us. Let's just hit C to lower ourselves down. It's wanting to hover. And once I'm down, I'll hold C and hit F to get out of the seat. That should be good for us. All right, so I'm linked to the container. We have territory units, basic containers, 57, 22 expanded XL containers. Half a uh, 500 kiloliters quartz and 100 kiloliters bauxite, and a little bit of fuel too. All right, uh, so 100 kiloliters plus of fuel. Good stuff. Good stuff. So let's go over here, jump off this corner. <clears throat> Excuse me. Turn my sound back up just a little bit. Now that we don't have all the ship noises to worry about. It's always fun jumping off the AGG tower. I'll hit my jump jet so that I can hopefully not fall through the voxel. Oh yeah, now we're good. Let's go in and see what we have set up here uh, and drop off this stuff and then we'll end the video. So again, another video of me just doing what I'm doing. Uh, if you don't like watching me do what I'm doing, then find someone else to watch. That's fine. I'm okay with that. If you like kind of seeing a day-to-day -day routine, then stick around. I'll be doing it day-to-day. Yeah, dad jokes. Uh, let's see here. So, large containers, I think is... 
Uh, not full, okay. So, but expanded Excel containers are full, I believe. Actually, I need to pull a couple out of here so it can make more. Pull five out. Leave room for it to build some more if it wants to build some more. Then I'll put the excess in here. So we got 66 and 41. All right, so 107. And then 131 of the largest. Uh, let's go to, where, is it, where am I gonna put the territory units? There's transfer units. There's enough room in there. Uh, I should put more containers downstairs. But I think what I'm going to do is I'll put them in my build box for now. And I'll do that later. I don't think... Well, we might want to sell some territory units. I'm not sure. We'll have to find out. But I got seven in here. I've got some more in here too. Uh, Boxite's always good to have because we go through it pretty good. Uh, actually, let me put this in here and let me put this in here and see if I can dump any of that in the factory. Wait. Oh, okay. All right, just making sure things are right. Da, da, da. All right, so what was I gonna dump in the factory? Oh, fuel for one thing. Uh, that should be X5. We'll have to fix that. Uh, so that's already full. So I have some fuel stashed here. I'll put some right there. So there's some extra X5 stashed in here. I'll pull this out and maybe use this up and then we can take and make this box something else. Uh, like warp cells or something like that. If we start making warp cells. So, getting low on a few things. Bauxite's going down, so we can top that off. That's good. So, I don't have any hematite to top off with, so... May have to make a run over and pick up what we have later on. Uh, we're going through hematite pretty good. Uh, let's see here. I don't have any malachite or chromite to dump in. I dumped chromite in there yesterday. I do have limestone, but I think we're not going to fit much. Alright, so we can pick going through the box site. We're not really going through the quartz per se so much. I'll put what we can in here. Top it off, which is about half of that. And I'm going to dump the rest of this in my build box as a backup ore. I'm not going to sell any right now because we're Utilize it in the factory, and I kind of want to see what we stabilize at. Uh, where the reason we're using ore more is because we're selling stuff from the factory. So uh, let's see here. We'll just throw this ore in the bottom of this container. Oops, or in the top, wherever it goes. What is this? Oh, quantity high to low. I don't want that. I just want that. And it should be at the bottom. Uh, yeah, right there. Uh, there is some fuel in here. X1, X5. I probably should take that and put it, put it up. Put it away. I'll put this in the ship. So I brought a whole bunch of X1 fuel over from Jago because I made a whole bunch over there. Or not Jago, I'm sorry, Pioma. Uh, and so I have just this fuel sitting here not being used. So I'll talk to Taco about maybe putting the X1 fuel we have into the up for sale and just getting rid of that. And that should allow us to, to get rid of that and then we have some excess X5 as well, but we can sell up this X1 first so we don't have to maintain stock of that. I've got about, uh, let's see how much fuel I have on uh, 
TM and now I'm using the Natron there to, to build it. Uh, let's see here. So, Zebets. Uh, so, that would be N001, it'll get me there fastest. Okay, that's the gas station. There we go. Connect. Alright, so I'm on Tiama, VRDN. Uh, there's been a snowstorm, looks like, but somebody shoveled off the, the core here, so we're good. Uh, let's take a look at this. So, I brought some tier ones over here when I was using this factory, but we don't use it much anymore. As it's putting ore into here from this miner, right here. It's turning it into fuel right here. Uh, I do have some emergency warp cells stashed over here too, but we've got 800 kiloliters, almost 799 kiloliters of uh, X1 fuel. So when I get up to 900, I'll probably uh, turn that off. So we're just using extra natron over here. I'm actually going to take some of these natron tiles and headquarter them turn them off so we're not uh, not using them we don't need all of these tiles so uh, let me put some of this in my nano pack actually no let's not do that let's go over here to the container because we're not very far away it should reach you only got a 250 meter range when you're in VR you don't have any of your perks see 250 so Let's go ahead and I think the natron is actually in this container. Da, 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 da. So set that as my link container and let's run back over here to number two and three. That should stay, I'm close enough. Uh, yeah, we're good. That should kick off my fuel because I put more in there. Back on that back corner over there. We'll go look in a minute. And I'm just dumping some of this uh, from two and three in here, yeah. And uh, uh, so now it's processing the ore. Can't get in here and look at industry because I'm VR'd in. But it's processing the ore into pure. Once it processes it into pure, it'll dump it in here. And then these will start making my fuel. These two here. This is uh, Natron. And let's see here, Natron's out, uh, yeah, I don't keep a whole lot of Natron over here, less, less than 300. Uh, so we're getting, getting full, actually, so I'm probably going to move some of this stuff, this excess stuff, over to here. There's no reason to keep it all in this container. Uh, take this X2 fuel and put it over here and that will help I should be able to get all the way up to my 900 kiloliters hopefully of fuel that we want for the gear gun <coughs> oh excuse me all right so I think our work here is done tab exit boom And this takes a little bit sometimes to get back out of VR. All right. So let's see what we got in our container. Nothing, just some natron fuel. I think there was X2 in this ship. Let's see if I have any X2 anywhere. No, no. Gonna have to convert it over to X5, but we'll do that next time. All right. I'm uh, going to go ahead and call this video, and I hope you guys uh, and gals have a, a good day playing here. And uh, our ore status board, sorry, just looking. Hope you guys have a good day. Talk to you later.